Hi everyone, this is our Singapore road trip episode 9. In this episode, you will see my accident visit to Singapore's largest and oldest cemetery, Bukit Brown Cemetery. I was en route to the old Mediacorp Broadcasting Center, but I ended up taking the wrong turn and came to this cemetery. A trip to a cemetery has always been a fascinating and a adventurous thing to do for me and this trip was totally unplanned. Before coming here, I knew nothing about this cemetery. I even didn't know that a cemetery existed in this area and that too after knowing it is the oldest and largest cemetery in Singapore and which is not maintained by any authority and it is a closed cemetery and this cemetery turned out to be a must visit place for me. Though I am hesitant to enter the cemetery alone, the adrenal rush and the forces is pulling me in. The cemetery is easily accessible on the road and using public transport from Botanical Garden and Marymount MRT. Check out the description for the full details on how to get here. The cemetery is guarded by Chinese deities on both the sides. Bukit Brown Cemetery, also known to the local community as Kopi Swa or Coffee Hill, was a public Chinese cemetery that had been established in the early 20th century. It was believed to be the biggest Chinese graveyard outside China, hosting about 100,000 graves. This cemetery is still in existence until today. This cemetery is named after its first owner, George Henry Brown, who was a ship owner who had arrived in Singapore from Calcutta in the 1840s. He then later bought the place and named it Mount Pleasant. The land was then later bought over by Ong Kyu Ho and the Hokkien Hua Hue Kwan, who gave it to the Ng An Kongsi. The 213-acre site at Bukit Brown had been occurred and passed into municipal hands by the municipal authorities in 1919 after pressure had been put on it to provide a municipal cemetery for the Chinese communities in Singapore. The cemetery was opened on 1st January 1922 and was managed as a public burial ground by a committee led by committee leaders Tan Kiam Ho and Si Tiong Hua. By 1929, the Bukit Brown Cemetery accounted for about 40% of all officially registered Chinese burials. The cemetery was eventually closed. In the 1970s, the cemetery faced the threat of being cleared for redevelopment, but it was eventually granted reprieve. Now the cemetery is home to many bird species and wildlife and has such become a popular again, this time with natural lovers.
This is a heritage cemetery. It has famous pioneers buried there. Some of the graves look very huge and grand, even have statue of gods on duty. Most of the graves are very old, even over 100 years old. This cemetery faces near destruction. Lucky through many efforts of concerned citizens, most part of it is safe. These are the different types of guard guarding the graves. These are the sea guards. They also have the lions guarding the grave. The cemetery has more than 100,000 traditional Chinese graves, including the 600 square meter grave of 19th century business supremo Ong Sam Leong. It's not only the city's largest cemetery but also one of its oldest, with the first grave dating back to 1833. Buried here are many Singaporeans whose names are literally part of the city today. Names like Chu Boon Lei, Tan Kya Po and Chu Ju Chiar who are the pioneers of Singapore. The cemetery has also become one of the city's prime spots for bird watchers and nature lovers with the graves washed over by 90 resident and migrant species of birds. Almost a quarter of Singapore's threatened bird species call it home, including the likes of the critical endangered white-bellied woodpecker. I'm pretty sure that Singapore don't have any wild cows or buffaloes but quite curious this dung belongs to which wild animal? At the first sight of this signboard, I thought they are warning us of some wild rhinos but it's actually a sign for some hardwood. This place is a national treasure. It encapsulates 150 years of the Chinese diaspora in Singapore and Southeast Asia. You could also sign on to the guided tour on Piatix. Check out the link in the description box. It, it is a group, All Things Bukit Brown is a loose group of volunteers promoting the heritage, habitat and history of Bukit Brown Cemetery. Or you can also download a self-guided tour at the Singapore Heritage website. You can also check out the link at the description. 
although it is not exactly physically challenging it should be noted that there is considerable undergrowth at some places and the tours are usually 3 hours long which could be a bit draining under hot and humid conditions also there are no benches drinks vending machine and washrooms nearby so come prepared for it dress up in a long sleeve clothing reliable footwear and perhaps bring along a cap and a mosquito repellent if you are interested to know more details on the historical facts you can check out this plaquettes at the cemetery The cemetery is full of art, stories, spirits, love and loss of life. Each tombstone has a history of its own. It's a perfect place for discovery of ancestors and wildlife and also wild woods. It's a highly recommended place. As I mentioned earlier, I happened to see plenty of 4D numbers. If you believe it or not, maybe you could try your luck with the 4D Singapore Pulse Lottery. Hope you like this episode of mine. You can check out more photos at my Instagram. If you like this video, feel free to like, share and subscribe. You can also find the Tamil version of it in the description box and you can share. See you next time on our next episode of our Singapore road trip. Bye for now.